go visit Sesame Street right here on PBS Kids Sprout. She'll read it to me. Gina. Hi, Gina. Hi, Big Bird. Say, I see you're reading a book. Would you mind reading to me out of that book? This book? Oh, uh -huh. no, I can't, Big Bird. <laughs> oh, you can't, huh? Okay, if you don't want to read to me, I understand. You just enjoy it by yourself, Gina. Don't worry about me. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 Big Bird. It's just I don't think you would like this book. It's for grown-ups. Oh, sure I would. I'm smart. Go on, try me. Okay. Equine influenza is an acute, highly contagious, febrile respiratory disease. Hmm. <laughs> uh, maybe you're right. I guess it is for grown-ups. Yeah. Hey, I know. You could read to me out of another book. Oh, I can't, Big Bird. I have to read this book for school. For school? Mm -hmm. You're going to school? What grade are you in? Oh, Big Bird, no, 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 I'm not in grade school. See, even grown-ups go to school. Really? I am going to school to become a veterinarian. Oh, a veterinarian. Yep. That's great, Gina. Yeah, I am so excited about it, Big Bird. Mm -hmm. I have always wanted to be a veterinarian. Oh, you're excited? Yeah. Oh, wow, that's so great. Excited, yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, what? Uh, Gina? What? Gina, what's a veterinarian? Oh, I'll show you. Watch this. This is the Animal Medical Center in New York City. And these animals are waiting to see the veterinarian. A veterinarian is an animal doctor. Animals need to go to the doctor just like people do. Hey, that looks like my Uncle Harvey. That's Dr. Hohenhaus. She's a veterinarian, so her job is taking care of animals. Let's take a look at him. How are you doing, Silver? Is he having um, any problems? No. How about any coughing or sneezing? No. The doctor is giving Silver a checkup. His she wants to make sure he's healthy. Good, strong and regular. And his lungs sound good, too. Now let's check his temperature. We have to be sure he doesn't have a fever, because that's a sign that he might be sick. No, the temperature looks completely normal. So I'd say he has a clean bill of health, um, and he shouldn't come back until sometime next year. Okay. All right? Veterinarians take care Thanks of all kinds of animals. Day. Dogs, cats, lizards, turtles, and even Hi, how are you today? rabbits. Good. And who do we have here? Poppy seed. And well, how come you brought poppy seed in today? She doesn't eat and poop very much. Oh. And what is it that Poppy Seed eats? Those rabbit pills. I think I can feel a, a hairball in Poppy Seed's stomach. So the prescription for Poppy Seed is extra brushing to be sure we get rid of all the mats and extra hair. And last, she needs a special drink, fresh pineapple juice, 
because the pineapple helps to digest the hair in uh, her stomach. Birdseed juice always makes me feel better. Thanks so much. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Thanks a lot. A Bye. veterinarian Bye. is a great person to have in your neighborhood. Oh, so that's a veterinarian. Yep, a veterinarian is a doctor for animals. Oh, why didn't you say so? I go to the animal doctor every year for my checkup. Say, now you could be my doctor. Oh, Say, Dr. No. Dina, it's time for my checkup. Oh, ah. Big Bird, Big Bird. Wait a minute, wait a minute, Big Bird. I'm not a vet yet, remember? I have to go to vet school first. Oh, well, that's okay. I have a few minutes. I'll wait. Oh, Big Bird, no, no, no. It takes a few years. A few years? Mm -hmm. Well, we better get started, Dina. We? Sure. There's lots you have to know to be an animal doctor. But don't worry, Gina. I'm going to help you. Oh, that is so nice of you, Big Bird. But right now, I really have to read this book and learn as much about animals as I possibly can. Thanks. Great idea. You read, Gina, while I go get the animals. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Animals? Whoa! What animals? <laughs> Tigers and lions live in a valley with monkeys and zebras. They run and they feed. I can be with them down in the valley each time that I start to read. In my animal books, animal books, I love to look in my animal books. Tyrannosaurus roam to the jungle. Dinosaurs live in a far distant age. Still I can see them there in the jungle each time that I turn a page. In my animal books, animal books, I love to look in my animal books. I can see fish swim deep in the ocean. Strange fish not found in a pond or a brook. I can swim with them there in the ocean. Each time that I read my book, in my animal books, animal books, I love to look in my animal books, my animal books, animal books, I love to look in my animal books. Stories up and down the hall, wonder what's behind them. I wonder why the weather is so warm. Wow! Even the watch is wilted. A wooden window? Whoa! Windy weather! Whee! W. Are you ready for your first patient, Dr. Gina? My first patient? Yes, you can't be an animal doctor without patients. Oh, well, Big Bird, I'm not an animal doctor yet, remember? I have to learn about all different kinds of animals, remember? <laughs> That's right. So, let's get started. The doctor will see you now. Ah! Ah! Hippity hop! Okay. Hippity hop! Uh, Hippity hop! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, here's your first patient, Gina. Yep. Now, 
What kind of an animal is he? Oh, well, uh, he's he's got um, long ears. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and he goes hippity hop. Hippity hop. That's uh, right. Let me guess. You are a bunny rabbit, right? <laughs> oh, that is so correct. I can see that you have been studying. Okay. <laughs> Very good. Uh, actually, it's me, Snuffy. I'm just pretending to be a bunny rabbit. <laughs> oh, right. Well, you know what, Snuffy? That is very, very good pretending. Very good. Thank you. Now, you know what, guys? I, I have to get back to my book here, okay? Ah, uh, good. Well, what about my checkup? Oh, right. Okay. Okay. Um, let's see. Oh, right. Well, your, uh, your eyes look good. Mm -hmm. And, uh, your ears look very good. Yep. All right. Oh, let's see. Uh, what? Say ah. Uh. Okay, your throat looks good. You know what? You are one very healthy bunny rabbit. <laughs> thanks, Gina. Okay. I mean, thanks, Dr. Gina. Uh, <laughs> well, bye bye. Bye, bunny rabbit. Hibbity hop. Ah. Hibbity hop. Okay. Hibbity hop. Well, yeah. next patient. Oh, no, 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 no. Big bird, big bird. I, I have to get back to my book. Well, of course you do. But. You'll never see this in a book. Cluck, 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 That's cluck, true. Cluck, 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 cluck. Yes, the doctor cluck. is in. Now, Dr. Gina, what kind of an animal is this? Okay, well, he's, uh, he's got feathers, <laughs> yeah, and, and he, uh, he clucks. Cluck, cluck, cluck. A chicken. And? And? Uh, well, he's, um, got... Pots all over him. Uh -huh, he's uh -huh. Chicken. Ah. He's got the chicken pox. Yes. 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 Uh, okay. You keep this up and you'll be a veterinarian in no time. Uh, Very good. Uh, actually, Gina, it's me, Snuffy again. I'm pretending to be a chicken. Oh. A and I don't really have chicken pox. Oh, well, <laughs> you know what? I am really glad you told me that, Snuffy. Uh, now, you know what? What? I want you to go home and get some rest and do not scratch those chicken pox, okay? Doctor has spoken. Yes, okay. Dr. Gina. Okay. Uh, I mean, I mean, cluck, 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 cluck. Now, Big Bird, please, if I am going to be a veterinarian, I have to study, okay? Of course, right you are. Thank you. So it's a good thing you have only one more patient. Bird. Well? Uh, uh, let me guess. You're a, um, a, a turtle. <laughs> no. No. You're a lizard? <laughs> no. no. Hamster? No. Oh, okay, you're a gerbil. A no. gerbil? No. Okay, well, you know, I give up. What are you? I'm a snuffleupagus. A snuffleupagus? Mm -hmm. Gee, Gina, I think you better go study some more. <laughs> look, look, the snuffle, the shaggy fur. Yeah, uh, sorry, Gina, but it uh, looks like you still have a lot to learn. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> well. I can't believe she didn't know I was a snuffleupagus bird. <laughs> well, give her time, Snuffy. Yeah, give her I guess time. So. Here's Faye. Faye is an animal lover. She loves to dress up as other animals. Can you guess which one? That looks like a moose. I think it's a yak. It may be a deer. No, but deers are black. I think it's a moose because it has antlers and it has a brownish coat. I think it's a yak, though. You may be right. What's that? It's, uh, hmm, I forget. It looks like a zebra with chicken pox, maybe. I think it's a beetle. Yeah! Maybe it's a ladybug. No, I, I, think, I think you're right. It's a toad. A toad? Or maybe it's a frog. It's, it's Kermit the dog. Everyone in town is fast asleep. The bookstore's locked up tight. Everything is still there, not a peep. Very late at night. Why, Hickory Dick? 
Hickory Dock. Yeah, Hickory Dickory D. One o'clock struck one, gonna have some fun. It's the Mother Goose Jamboree. Yeah. Hey, diddle, diddle, the cat and the fiddle, the cow jumps over the moon. The little dog laughs to see such sport, and the hip to split with a spoon. Ladies and gentlemen, it ain't no jive. The rhymes are rockin', they're coming alive. Jack and Jill went up that hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack, he slipped, and Jill, she tripped, and man, she's mad, he brought her. Little boy blue, come blow your horn. The sheep's in the meadow, the cow's in the corn. This time blue's got a real slick trick. Here he is, blowing on a licorice stick. Ladies and gentlemen, a special treat. Mary is moving to a Latin beat. Maria, Maria, good to see ya. How does your garden grow? With silver bells and cockle shells and senoritas in a row. What? You know, I really love animals, and one day I'm going to be able to take care of them. That's why I'm going to school, to be a veterinarian. Are you ready for your next patient, Dr. Gina? Oh, Big Bird, I do not have time for any more pretend patients. I have to study. Oh, have of course to. you do. But this isn't a pretend patient. This is a real patient. A real patient? Well, I'm not a vet yet. Okay, the doctor will see you now. I was jumping over the moon, and I got a boo-boo. Is it bleeding? Uh, uh, no. You're the cow that jumped over the moon? Oh, well, who else? You know, hey, diddle, diddle, the cat and the fiddle, the cow jumped over the moon, the little dog laughed to see such sport, and the dish ran away with a spoon. And the cow got a Oh, there, there. Tell Dr. Gina all about it. Oh, well, Big Bird, I'm, oh, I'm not... Oh, Doctor, what should I do? Every time I jump over the moon, I get a boo-boo. Boo! Oh, uh, boo. Uh, excuse me, I'm, I'm not a doctor yet, boo. but, you know, you, um, you could stop jumping over the moon. Stop jumping over the moon? Well, yeah, then you wouldn't get so hurt. <gasps> That's brilliant! Brilliant! Are you sure you're not a doctor? No, but she will be one day. Oh, but I can't stop jumping. I love to jump. I live to jump. That's what I do. Well, why don't you try jumping over something else? You know, something that's not so high. <gasps> yes, 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 of course. Like, like that building over there. That yes. building? Yes. No, 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 no. Too high. Oh, well, um, how about him? Me? Oh, no, it's still too high. Oh, well, um, hmm. How about you? Me? Yes, you're no. perfect. And if I get a boo-boo, you'll be there to make it all better. Hey, diddle diddle, the cat and the fiddle, the cow jumped over the veterinarian. Oh, yes, yes, perfect. Oh, perfect. I like it. Wait, I'm not a vet yet. No! Oh, oh, well, look at that. Not a scratch on me. Great. I could do this all day. Oh, lovely, lovely, lovely. No, 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 wait, wait. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, oh, Gee, being a vet sure is interesting work. Oh, this is Have a bouncy day. I'm telling you, I know the way you're done. 
Cause baby, it's soaring in the face We'll put a smile back on your face Yeah, John It's time to get those muscles pumping Come on and leap and skip and hide Cause baby, once you start in jumping You ain't never gonna stop Yeah, John I want you to Come on, every girl and boy It's time to jump for joy Now listen People everywhere Throw up your arms, let down your hair and jump Come on and take a flying leap Then try collapsing in a heap Yeah, jump Why not pretend that you can fly now Yeah, get those feet up the ground come on grab a hunk of sky now or leave a building in a single bound yeah jump i want you to jump come on every girl and boy it's time to jump for joy Gerald. Good night, Sparky. Good night, Sparky. Good night, Mom. Good night, Dad. Good night, Sparky. Imagine me, an alligator. Mom, there's an alligator in my room. I don't see an alligator. Well, sure, it's not there now, but when you turn out the light, it's there. Go to sleep, Gerald. It's just your imagination. The wheat potato. Alligator. Mom! I was looking what is it? An alligator. It's back. Go to sleep, Gerald. And you get mad for me to munch on. I'm afraid of getting dinner. Would you please become my dinner? Sparky, tell us you all the time. What is that thing? Well, nothing, Mom. Just your imagination. Finally, some peace and quiet. Hey, Ms. Veterinarian, you better come here quick. Oscar, okay, listen. I am not a veterinarian yet, okay? I am just beginning to learn all about animals. It is a lot of studying and a lot of hard work, but I love animals, and it is something I have always wanted to do, okay? Why don't you tell us someone who cares? Right now, I've got an elephant with a splinter in her foot. <laughs> Splinter? Yeah, well, I told her not to go barefoot in the park. Oh, come here, Fluffy. Oh, does it hurt? Well, of course it hurts. So don't just stand there. Take it out. W me? Well, you're the animal doctor. Uh, Oscar, I told you I am not an animal doctor yet. Okay. Tell that to Fluffy. She's the one with a splinter in her foot. Oh, oh, oh okay, okay, Fluffy, Fluffy, Fluffy. I will try to get the splinter out, okay? Oh. Well, here you go. You're going to need, the, need these elephant's tweezers. Oh. Uh, so you better go in the back door. Wait, wait, wait. You want me to go in your trash can? What's the matter? Don't you make house calls? Okay. I can do this. Okay. Yeah. The, the oh. door's unlocked. You can go right in. All right. It's down there. Oh, okay. Oh. Okay. Did you get the splinter out? No, Oscar. I can't find Fluffy. It is so dark in here. Well, she's right there. On the kitchen counter. <laughs> No, no, that's not Fluffy. That's Spot, my pig. She, don't you know the difference between a pig and an elephant? It's just so dark. That's not Fluffy either. That's Lassie, my my goat. 
What kind of vet are you, anyway? I am not a vet. Oscar, isn't there a light down here? Well, of course there's a light. Right behind the broken china cabinet. But just watch out for the, uh, uh, the, uh, oh, <laughs> the pool. Thanks, Oscar. Oh! Okay, Fluffy, Fluffy, please stop so I can get you to the out, Fluffy. Fluffy, I said, keep still. Fluffy, Fluffy, stop kicking, Fluffy. Hey, you better work on your bedside manner there, Gina. Oh, well, it's about time. Here is your splinter, Oscar. So what do you want, a medal? No, but a thank you would be nice. Hey, I'm not the patient. Hey, Fluffy, thank Gina. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now it's time to play Name That Sound, the game where you tell us what animal's making the sound that you hear behind the door. <laughs> Let's begin with number one. That's absolutely correct. It is a duck indeed. All right, now let's listen to number two. <laughs> okay, what's the animal behind number two? Elephant! Whoa, give him a peanut. Oh, I mean, boy, for it is indeed he do, an elephant. <laughs> You're doing great. So let's try number three. Another correct answer. Let's go on to number four. A rock Oh, rock a doodle on the noodle. You're right again. If we hurry, we have time for one more. <laughs> number five. Can you repeat that one more time? <laughs> No, we're out of time. Aww. Let's see what is behind there. A uh, 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 parrot. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> well, that's all the time we have for today on Name That Sound. I'd like to thank Practical Polly Pranks for the parrot and always be kind to your pets. <laughs> When I lost Homer, well, I went downtown to the man that the animal lost and found. I said, have you seen Homer? He's cute as can be. And the man brought a cuddly puppy to me. And I said, oh, no, that's not Homer. Whoa, whoa, that's not Homer. Oh, Homer, Homer, where can he be? And the man said, describe your pet. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. 
Gina! Gina, I need your help! Telly, what's the matter? Uh, it's not me, it's Chucky! Yeah, now don't worry, Telly. Gina will help Chucky. She's the animal doctor. Guys, please, I do not have time to play pretend animal doctor anymore. I have to study so I can become a real animal doctor. But, 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 but Chucky's not pretending. He really needs your help. Well, well, what's the matter with him? Well, look at him. He's just sitting there. Oh, I guess he usually does have a little more energy, yeah. <laughs> I told you something's wrong with him. He hasn't been eating, he didn't run on his wheel all day, and he loves to run on his little wheel. Oh, can you help him, Gina? Well, I can't, but I know somebody who can. Who? A veterinarian. A veterinarian? Ah, uh, but I think he needs an animal doctor, Gina. A veterinarian is an animal doctor. Come on, I'll take you to see Dr. Bird. He's a great veterinarian. Dr. Bird? Gee, something tells me I'm going to like him. Yeah, come on. Uh, I Come hope on, we can help Chucky. Come on, baby. A good day, everyone. I am a worm. Worm begins with this letter, W. It's really the only important thing that does, you know. Except, of course, for walrus. And water! All right, all right, all right, everybody, settle down. Come on now, now. Um, welcome to the weekly meeting of the National Association of W Lovers. We are gathered here today to pay tribute to that great letter, W, and the wondrous sound it makes. Ooh. Isn't that lovely? Ooh. Yeah, it makes the heart pound faster. All right, now, if you'll all turn to page four in the manual, we will sing the club song. All right, turn to page four. That's it. All right, now, everybody ready? Here we go. I'll begin. You can join in later. Here we go. Ah, oh, what is that ladder we love? What sound are we extra fond of? It's not any trouble, you know it's a W when you hear woo, 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 woo. Without this fine letter, you couldn't say wash or witch, wax, or wiggle. My gosh. Huh. There wouldn't be wet, warm, or walrus. Oh, wow. There wouldn't be wood. Would there now? Uh-uh. Without this great woo sound, well, wink would be ink, and weak would be eek. Don't you see? Of course. A fine word like waffle would turn out just awful. Oh, double use grand as can be. All right, everybody. So what is the letter we love? The sound that we're extra fond of. It's not any trouble. You know it's a W when you hear whoop, whoop, whoop. Water. Wind. Wind. Wet. Wet. <laughs> w. wait much longer. He needs to see the doctor. Oh, oh, where is Dr. Bird? Where's Dr. Bird? Where's Dr. Bird? Where's Dr. Bird? Okay, okay, okay. Shh, shh, shh. Telly, telly. What? What? Okay, calm down. What? Dr. Bird is with another patient, and then it will be Chucky's turn, okay? Breathe, 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 breathe. I hope so, Gina. I hope so. For Chucky's sake. Chucky, Chucky. Doctor? No? Uh, oh. Dr. Bird sure has a lot of patients. Whoa, a parrot. Hey, what's your parrot's name? Rover. Oh, is Rover sick? No, he just needs to have his beak trimmed. Oh, oh his beak trimmed? Wow, won't that hurt? Oh, no, 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 it doesn't 
hurt, Big Bird. It's, it's good for the parrot. I learned that in vet school. Oh. Well, gee, maybe I should get my beak trimmed. What do you think, Telly? A little off the top? <laughs> I get it. I get it. How can you think about your beak at a time like this, Big Bird? I have a sick hamster here. Oh, well, I was just, just asking. Telly, Telly, j Telly, hmm? just, just hmm? try to relax. Chucky is going to be okay. I am relaxed. It's Chucky. He's nervous. Look at him. He's just a bundle of nerves there. Oh, is your kitty sick? Oh, she's here for her shots. Oh, the, the shots keep her from getting sick. Oh, I didn't know that. Huh, did you know that, Telly? 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 That's it! Chucky can't wait another minute! He has to see the doctor now! Chucky the what hamster? What kind of place is this? There's just so patient that a little hamster could be... Telly? He's been waiting and waiting and Te waiting... Telly, 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 what, what, it's, it's, what, it's what? Chucky's turn to go in. The doctor's here. Huh? Yeah. Chucky. Yes, yes! Right here, right here, Dr. Oh. Bird. This is Chucky, the little brown furry guy there. Hello, Chucky. Chucky. Hi uh -huh. there. You, you, you're oh. Dr. Bird? That's right. Gosh, I thought you'd be a bird. Oh, no, no. But, but I do speak tweet. Tweet, 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 tweet? Oh, huh, fine, thank you. Yeah. Uh, gee, you're right, Gina. He is a good doctor. Oh. <laughs> well, bring Chucky in and, and let's take a look at him. Oh, great. Okay. Telly, hmm? don't worry. Chucky is in good hands, okay? <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Take a look at him, Telly. Now, yeah, Chucky, tell me what seems to be bothering you. Uh, uh, Dr. Bird, <laughs> this is a hamster. He can't talk. I know that, Big Bird. I, I'm just trying to make him feel comfortable. Oh, oh, well, keep up the good work. <laughs> Chucky's just not himself, Dr. Bird. Oh, what Telly means is Chucky hasn't been eating well lately. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, and he doesn't have much energy. He's not running on his wheel. Yeah, and he loves his little wheel. Yeah. Oh, and I did notice that his left rear leg is bothering him a little bit. His left leg, mm -hmm. eh? Yeah. You know, Gina's a veterinarian just like you, Dr. Bird. Oh, big bird. Actually, I'm in vet school. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Well, Gina, you were right. What? Chucky broke his leg. Oh, no. Broke it! Well, how did he break it? Well, I, I can't say for sure, but he, he probably just fell. Oh, no. Will Chucky ever be able to run on his little wheel again? Sure. 
Now, Chucky, okay, I'm gonna put a bandage on, and in a few weeks, you're gonna be as good as new. <clears throat> you hear that, Chucky? You're gonna be fine. I told you there was nothing to worry about. <laughs> now, I just need someone to hold his leg while I put the bandage on. Oh, 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 Gina can do it. She's the veterinarian. Ah, uh, big bird. Great idea. Really? Oh, come here, Chucky. Okay. Wow. She's gonna make a great veterinarian, isn't she, Dr. Bird? <sighs> Big Bird. She sure is. Okay, Chucky, don't you worry. You will be back on your wheel in no time, little guy. Oh, she yes. even talks like a veterinarian. Yes. <laughs> You're a brave little hamster, Chucky. Out. In. Out. In. Out. In. Sounds like there's something in there. I'm lucky to be out. Oh, there's his little bandage. Yeah, he's getting around okay with it. Look at him. He's taking a little snooze now. Oh. Hey, Chucky, how you feeling? Huh? I think he's feeling a little bit better, Gina. Thanks to you and Dr. Bird, Gina. Oh, I am so glad I could help. Now, just remember, Chucky, your leg will be better in no time, but you have to give it some rest, okay? Yeah. Come hmm. on, let's go, Chucky. I'll take you home, and we can watch Mr. Rogers. Mr. Rogers always makes him feel much better. Oh, oh can I come with you, Telly? Oh, yeah. I love Mr. Rogers. <laughs> Bye, guys. Well... If I want to be a vet and take care of sick animals, I have to get back to my studying. I love the part where he goes on the trolley and it goes yeah. to make believe land. Come on, Chuckster. Here we go. La, 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 la. Wait, 
really heavy. Where are you going now? Mr. Noodle! A butterfly, <laughs> Matt. There's no butterflies. No! Oh, Mr. Noodle. You, you can't catch a ball with a butterfly net. No. Mr. Noodle! Mr. Noodle! He hit it! He hit the ball! Now he's playing baseball! Yeah. <laughs> Say! Yeah, use your hands, Mr. Noodle. That's right. Yeah! You can do it! Mr. Noodle! Mr. Noodle! Oh, oh yeah, Dorothy wants to ask someone else. How do you catch a ball? You have to spray your arms out and catch a ball. You put your arms out, and when the ball's coming right at you, you squeeze your hands. See? Dorothy, this is how you catch a ball. Thank you, Dorothy. Now, let's ask a baby. <laughs> baby? Baby. Hello. How do you catch a ball? Thank you, baby! <laughs> and now, Elmo has a question for you! How many bounces will this ball bounce? Let's count them and see. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight. Twenty-eight bounces! Yay! <laughs> that was great counting, everybody! And that was some great bouncing ball! <laughs> Oh, I want to know some other things besides balls that bounce and things that don't bounce, too. Want to see? Good! <laughs> oh, <laughs> Troy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Eggs don't bounce. <laughs> but they're delicious to eat for breakfast. <laughs> Babies and bouncy seeds bounce. <laughs> Phone books don't bounce. <coughs> Birthday cakes don't bounce. <laughs> Tully doesn't bounce unless he's on a pogo stick. <laughs> See? Some things bounce besides balls. But what if balls weren't so bad? Elmo wants to know. How can Elmo find out? Hmm. Oh, yeah, that's right. Elmo can watch the Ball Channel. TV. <laughs> the Ball Channel. Bouncy, bouncy balls all the time. And now, if balls didn't bounce, roll them. If balls didn't bounce, if balls didn't bounce, basketball would be boring and impossible. Tennis would be terrible. People would get tense and testy. Little children wouldn't be able to bounce a ball at all. Handball would be horrible. And that is what would happen if balls didn't bounce. Bouncing is good. Sometimes it's too good. The end. That's ball, folks. Oh, no. Wait, no! <laughs> Elmo wants to learn more about balls. Oh, how could Elmo learn more? Huh? Well, who could that be? <laughs> Hi. Hi! Wanna 
talk to a ball? Yeah, mm. Elmo can talk to a ball. Well, let me tell you a little bit about myself. I'm a beach ball. What, is it fun being a beach ball? Oh, oh, it's a ball. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. Hey, see how light and airy I am. Go ahead, pick me up. Okay. Yeah. Huh? Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm filled with lots of air oh. all inside me. <laughs> and you see, that helps me to bounce up and down. Oh, oh, what well, Elmo knows all about bouncing. Really? Well, Elmo likes to bounce up and down, Let's too. Let's see. Yeah, okay. Oh, good bouncing, <laughs> Elmo. <laughs> and it's fun, too. Yeah. <laughs> well, what else? What else do balls do besides bouncing? Oh, uh, well, balls roll. Oh. Yeah, watch this. Okay. <laughs> wow. Oh. Wow. 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 Well, how does a ball do that? Oh, well, you see, I'm round. Yeah, that's how. Oh, yeah, like a soccer. Exactly, <laughs> yeah. Hey, not all balls are round, you know. Well, who said that? Oh, uh, that's football. Huh. See, I'm not completely round like that beach ball. Yeah, Elmo sees that. Is it fun to be a football? Hmm, I get my kicks. <laughs> Hey, you know, there are lots of different kinds of balls for playing lots of different kinds of games. 4, 18, 22, height. <laughs> yeah, footballs are for playing football. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, look, look, look. Dorothy is imagining Elmo playing football. Ping-pong balls for playing ping-pong. There are golf balls for playing golf. And miniature golf. You see, you couldn't play any of those games without balls. Yeah, nobody could. Yeah. Oh, hey, 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 hey. Elmo wanted to find out what a beach ball would look like without air inside. Don't look at me. <laughs> so, Elmo made a video with Dad's camera. It's called <coughs> Squishing the Air Out of a Beach Ball by Elmo. <laughs> TV! Here we go. <laughs> Ta da! <laughs> and that's squishing the air out of a beach ball. Hi, Mom. Good squishing, Harry. Thanks. <laughs> oh, there's the TV. Oh, boy, look at that. Elmo likes the beach ball better with lots of air in it. It's more fun to play with. And it bounces better. Look. Yeah. <laughs> and Elmo really likes to play ball. Some of Elmo's friends like to play ball, too. Yeah, Elmo's friend Michelle played catch with her daddy the other day. Michelle told Elmo all about it. Oh. <laughs> Michelle went to the beach to play catch with her daddy. Catch is a good game to play outside. Michelle's daddy threw Michelle the ball. She almost caught it. Michelle is still learning. Uh-oh. Oh, almost. Oh. The hard thing about playing catch is you have to catch it and throw it. Nice catch, Michelle. It takes a lot of practice. Michelle caught Michelle is getting better and better. Yeah. They played for a while. Then Michelle's daddy caught Michelle. <laughs> Good catch, daddy. And that's how Elmo's friend played ball. Elmo really likes 
balls, too. Oh, so does Dorothy. Oh, that's why Dorothy wants to sing the ball song! Yay! <laughs> done with my studying for the day. Oh, oh great, Dina. Now will you read me a book? <laughs> sure, Big Bird. What do you want me to read to you? This animal book. Oh, an animal book, huh? Yeah. <laughs> when I grow up, I want to be a veterinarian, just like you, Tina. Oh, that is great, <laughs> Big Bird. Yeah. Or maybe an opera singer. <laughs> or an astronaut. Sesame Street was brought to you today by the letter W. And by the number 17. Sesame Street is a production of the Children's Television Workshop. Or maybe an encyclopedia salesman. <laughs> or a hairdresser. Maybe a bus driver. On PBS Kids Sprout, make way for Naughty. Take a trip to Toyland with Naughty and all his friends. From Martha Monkey to Dinah Doll, Naughty's a good friend to all. And with other playful pals like Mr. Sparks, Mr. Plod, and Big Ears. Go, you funny little Naughty! Every day in Toyland is full of silly surprises. <laughs> Yay! Make way for Naughty every day on PBS Kids Sprout. Don't go away, Sproutlets. We'll be right back. <laughs> 